Hi there, it's Chris here from Technify Networks. I'm making this video in order to show us how to configure VRLP in a Cisco router. This video is a sequel to my HSRP video, which I made some time ago. So we talked about FHRP, which stands for First Up Redundancy Protocols. We said FHRP is used to ensure network availability and to eliminate a single point of failure in the network. And FHRP is also used to create redundancy and to pre prevent network failure at a default gateway. So it's basically used to prevent a single point of failure in our default gateway. So we talked about HSRP already. So we're going to be talking about VRLP today, which stands for Virtual Router Redundancy Protocol. HSRP is Cisco proprietary, which means it can only work on Cisco devices, while VRLP is open standard but it's similar to hsrp so that means it's basically vendor neutral it can work on any device it can be implemented on any device so we said there is also glbp which stands for global load balancing protocol so this is cisco proprietary as well we're going to be making another video in regards to that so vrlp stands for virtual router redundancy protocol and it's open standard and we know that it's very similar to HSRP, you know, and it can be used to create a virtual gateway as well. So in VRLP, the yellow timer is one second and the old timer is three seconds. Whereas in HSRP, the yellow timer is three seconds and the old timer is 10 seconds. So and in VRLP, the term, VRLP uses the term master and backup, which is similar to HSRP active and standby. In HSRP, we've got the, the router that is forwarding on behalf of the virtual router. It's called the active router. And then the one that is backing it up is called the standby router, basically. So, and in VRLP, yeah, it's just pretty much saying that some router or switch assumes the function of a master yeah, device and the other backup, yeah. So, which means we can have a master and a backup in VRLP. So, yeah. And the master router actually sends the VRLP advertisements to the routers in the same group. So, and VRLP uses multicast IP address 2244.0.0.18 for a low mechanism and, and elections in IPv4. And then the virtual MAC address for VRLP will, will be this 000.5E00.01. Then the XX stands for the group number. So if we've got basically, let's say VRLP 15, so it's going to be 010F. Yeah. So and then it uses its own protocol, which is protocol 112. And in VRLP, preemption is enabled by default. Whereas in HSRP, it is disabled by default. And then preemption can also be disabled in VRLP using the no VRLP preempt command under the interface. And then in VRLP, we know that the virtual IP can be the same as the real IP address on the interface. So we're just going to be jumping into action quickly. I've prepared this topology that we're going to be using for today's lab. So this, I'm just going to be creating an illusion of... Uh, of a cloud here, yeah. so we'll just wait for this to load up. We're just gonna be changing that icon, so it's gonna look as if we are dealing with an ISP. Basically, yeah. So I'm gonna change this as well. Change symbol. symbol so in this topology just a minute so all what we are trying to do here is to simulate this as isp1 and isp2 and then we want to reach this server 8.8.8.8 .8 from from these two isps so basically this is going to be the master router and this is going to be the backup 
so and this is our virtual ip address and then this is the gateway of the master and then this is the gateway the default gateway of the backup so we're just gonna be at first what we'll do here is to go into the pc and then assign just to demonstrate what a single point of failure means so we're gonna assign an ip address within this range and then the default gateway is gonna be this so let's say ip 192.168.10.5 then slash 24 and if our gateway is 192.168.10.2 so we're gonna do a continuous ping to 88888 so we're gonna do ping ada 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 8 then iphone t so what we'll do is because at the moment We've got a single point of failure. So if this link goes down or this router goes down, we cannot reach 88888 anymore. So we're just gonna shut down this link. We go to router one. I'm trying to reduce this. Yeah, so we're just gonna shut down the link. So we go to conf t global configuration mode and interface f00 now we say shut then we go back to the pc and we'll see that all the packets are going to be getting dropped so at the moment we've got a single point of failure so which is the reason why we're going to be configuring vrrp for i mean to create redundancy i have you know two gateways basically so what i'll do is no shot again and then the traffic is being sent again so now we're gonna go to router one we're gonna start the vrrp configuration so we go to our gateway here okay what i'll do is to bring this here so and then on the PC first, this is our virtual IP address. So I'm going to stop this. So we need to assign our virtual IP address to our PC as the default gateway. So we're going to change the IP, IP 192.168.10.5 remains the same then slash 24, or we can use the subnet max straight away like that, 255.255.255.0. Then our default gateway will now become the virtual IP, like a floating IP address, basically. 192.168.10.1. So we're just going to verify that, show IP. Okay, so that's good. So then we'll begin our VRRP configuration. So on this interface, the interface is back up. So, and that is f0 slash 0 i mean yeah 4 slash 0 so basically we say vrrp so we want the group number to be 15 or we can use question mark and see what it's gonna say okay i've used triple r vrrp question mark so it's asking us to give a group number between 1 and 2 255 five. so i'm gonna use 15 RP15 IP and I say okay let's do question mark so he's asking for the group IP address which is 192.168.10.1 that is our virtual IP address that we want to assign there so yeah so and that should be about that and immediately we can see this has become the master so but because the vrlp the default priority is 100 so we want to we want this to become the master every time is up or every, yeah every time the router is on or this interface is up we want it to become the master so 
we're gonna increase the priority to 150 so we just say vrlp and then the the group number 15 priority so we can use tab and then we increase it to 150 so and that's about that so let's say do right to save our configuration so and then we go to the other router which is router 2 so and we go to this interface so basically we're gonna say conf t configure terminal and then interface f0 slash 0 and then we say vrrp 15 the group number then we give the ip address the virtual ip that's 192.168.10 dot one so yeah we can see this is the backup so we want to leave the priority of this as 100 so what we can do is to okay do right let's save this configuration first and then let's do control c and then let's say show vrrp all so we can see the state is ba is back up and the virtual IP address is the same floating or virtual IP address that we have for it. And then we can see the virtual MAC address that we talked about in the theory. Because it's 15, that's the hexadecimal value of 15, F. So, and the advertisement interval is one, one second. So that's 1000 millisecond basically. And then preemption is enabled. We can see the priority is 100. And then it's telling us that the IP address of the master router is 192.168.10.2. And the priority of the master router is 150, which we set on that. And then the advertisement interval is one second. That's 1,000 millisecond. And then the master down, whatever, is like, it's three seconds, basically, just over three seconds there. So it's counting down now that it's going to, if anything happens in like 2.7 seconds, if it goes down, this is gonna take over basically. If it doesn't hear from it after this time, then this will assume the role of the master. So what we're gonna do is to go back to R1, because that's our master router. And then we can say, say control C, and then let's say show VRRP, all so we can see the state of this is the master and the group number is 15 the virtual ip is the same the mac virtual mac address the same and the priority is 150 so we talked about this already then we can still say show vrrp brief so we can see we are in group 15 priority 150 preemption is enabled that's the Y means yes, and then the state is master. And the IP address of the master, which is our local router, and then the group address is the virtual, the IP address of the virtual router. So to test VRRP, what we're gonna do is go, we're gonna do continuous ping to ping a dot a dot a dot eight and iPhone C. So that's gonna be pinging continuously. We go to router one, R1. We go to this interface and we shut it down. Interface F00, so, and then we say shut. We go back to, our, this we assume the role of a backup now because it's no longer the master. So we can see traffic has been redirected we missed just one packet so we've created like you know redundancy in our network traffic has failed over to this place so what we're gonna do is we're gonna trace the how traffic is being sent we're gonna trace do a trace route so we say cancel then we say here trace 8.8.8.8 so we can see Traffic is now moving because this, this is the address of this gateway. 
and this is the address of this gateway of our second gateway here so traffic is now moving has been redirected to router 2 so we can see the first up is 192.168.10.3 which is the IP address of this F0 slash 0 here and then it's moving through 101.12.12.2 which is the IP address of this interface and then it's reaching the 8.8.8.8 .8 over there so another thing we're gonna do but that's gonna be for another video so we just go back here and we bring up that interface again we bring it back up so and then traffic is going to become the master now so if we say do show vrp brief we can see at the moment yeah it's got no master so if we say do show vrp all so yeah it's basically in any state so it's not in any state at the moment the other one router 2 has taken over the role and we can see from this log message here so we can just say show vrrp all so we can see the state is the master so and if you say show vrrp brief yeah so and they still got the same power already so basically yeah so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna bring that link back up router one so we're gonna say no shot so it's gonna become the master again i think it's coming back up now it's become the master so if you say do show vrrp all we can see the state is now the master so another thing we'll do is to ping continuously again ping continuously and then we go back to router 1 because he's got 150 power already so he's always going to be the master as long as he's up and he's on so we're going to shut down this interface but because this interface there is no VRRP running on it so this is going to be for another video so let's do exit and then interface F10 just to keep this video as short as possible we say shut to shut it down so our PC is going to keep dropping traffic now we can see unreachable because VRRP is running on this interface on our gateway on our default gateway so if this interface goes down VRRP is unaware of it but in another video we're gonna cover how to configure that interface to track this interface so if this interface goes down we don't keep losing packets I mean our gateway don't keep dropping packets so we're just gonna go back and say no shots and bring it back up so if you find this video helpful give it thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel see you in the next video thanks bye for now